This is a very moving event, which illustrates the uh, capacity of Technion to think out of the box in terms of design and to come up with a new realization, which is really something very impressive from an engineering point of view. And all the more so because it results from the uh, cooperation of two academics and one industrial. So this is not just a concept, but this is a proof of concept. The Gannet is a high-performance planning boat and this high-performance is exclusively achieved by new design concepts. The idea was to design a different kind of vessel that would go faster, that would have better performance. When you sail fast at open sea, the boat jumped on the wave. This phenomenon called slamming induced extreme stresses on the hull and this is the, the critical load for design. In this research, we solve the slamming phenomenon by rational simulation, not by empirical formula like the rule does. The main idea was to have a structure which is rather flexible, or in other words, the plates of the vessel are thinner than usual or that, than what the standards would recommend. For that, we designed a special rig that mimics the uh, wave slamming or violent impact of water on an aluminum plate and to which we added a coating made of polyurea to make sure that if ever the structure gets breached, then it will still remain impervious. Metal fabrication is mostly built to print. We got the models or the prints for customers. We are doing the process design, laser cutting, bending, welding, assembling. My team and Nitai and Danny, we teamed the students, communicate very nice together. The Technion management support me all the way. What's special about this boat is that it is designed against the rules, basically. I mean, every possible rule of design here is breached, and this just uh, makes you think that standards could be modified the risks were high, but it's working and you could see it, you could sail on it, so... Our rational method will let you design a boat lighter at least by 20%. And this saving of weight is very meaningful for all the aspect of fast boat operation, which can be racing, recreational, military, rescue. The boat can be adapted. This is not a standard boat like 10 meter long, X meter wide. You simply adjust it to your needs. What we provide here is a concept. When we're showing that you can exceed the uh, currently available performances. Our next stage is to apply to classification societies and try now to develop a new standard for fast light boats. For us, it was great experience and the results at the end was amazing. I'm very proud of this project because it implies a strong collaboration between designers, material testing and all kinds of concepts that you integrate. But I think the main source of pride is that you have an end product. Not just one or more scientific papers, but a real thing you can see, touch, feel, sail on, show to the public. <laughs> the Technion gives you the opportunity to actually do what you want. You have an idea, you can go ahead and research it. I don't know how many of you know, but during the 30s of the 20th century, the Technion had a nautical school. Because Haifa is a port city, the Technion started by helping to design ship and to construct boats. And here we are closing an historical circle. Technion researchers, together with the industry, join forces to build Dganit, a new boat made out of new materials based on new engineering principles that will be lighter, faster and durable. I'm very proud of Technion achievements. <laughs>